Hello there guys, my name is Jag and Peter Wolf and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers Spotlights. So I hope you enjoy the start up intro y thing and the outro that will be on uh the video. Um I figured the channel needs to have a few tweaks because I'm becoming more of of a spacey person rather than, you know, what other things I do and I th I'm thinking of changing the channel's progression more towards space themed stuff like Elite Dangerous and stuff like that um, just because I'm getting a lot more into spacey games now so less of that what are we doing today and what are we looking at today we're looking at another Dark Lord build and the build we're actually looking at is something that's really quite current that to what he's brought out recently so we're looking at this now what is this this is the Jaculus Artillery Frigate what does it do? Well, from my understanding of this ship, it is basically meant to be a hard-hitting mother chuffer. So it actually has these large cannons on the front, and it basically screws your day up, basically. And uh, these turrets rotate, and it's a really, really nice build, in all fairness. So to get in, we need to find a door somewhere. Um, so I did come out of a door somewhere on this ship, I believe it was at the back end, maybe, maybe? Yeah, there we go. So, I'm going to turn my lights on just for the pure fact that we can't see. So, this ship is blue and black. It's like, like different shades of blue. It's actually quite an oddment to see in the Dark Lord stuff, because he tends to go white and black, so I think the blue sort of is to, to signify its use which is kind of cool so it's a very nice ship it's a very awkward looking ship to put it in that way it's like an awkward shape and the front is I believe to be meant for ramming so when it slams into the side of a ship these I believe these sort of drills are absolutely screw its day up and push it out to the sides and into the ship that's that's what I can get from this. That's the concept, anyway. All those are actually just for genuine drilling purposes. But uh, anyway, so it's very, very, very well defended. It's got turrets on the sides, and again, it's got these two massive cannons at the top. So we'll jump inside and drop down this uh, passage block here, which I hate the fact they don't have ladders on anymore. Oh, I still that still annoys me. So we come down and we take a right and a left. Sorry my god we take a left and we are instantly greeted with this area for um, drinks cooking eating and just general tomfoolery <laughs> and I believe it's different on this side so we actually have um, a medical room here and sleeping arrangements here as well sorry about the noise there was a ambulance going past and these make you oh my um help well, that's confusing so the beds are still a bit buggy because I, I was actually standing up then if you look yeah so there's the door I'm actually standing up on the bed so maybe they're meant for bouncing no one knows we've got a nice desk here that you can sort of you know look at and not in, not no windows here purely for defensive purposes probably to uh, stop you know the ship getting broken easily and the staircase leads us um, to the back, I believe. And does it do the same on the other one? No, it doesn't. So, if we go back through here, up the stairs and round, he's got these really nice railings in. Use very nice use of mods, and uh, these are also engines. So, very nice use of engines within the ship. Um, we've actually got the nuclear reactor here, which is kind of cool. Um, we have a desk here for sort of commanding Shizzle Whizzle down here, and a very large command hub. In all fairness. Grab gens at the back here as well, and we've got a large amount of battery space. So this ship could prof potentially survive on battery power for quite some time before you know it requires more fuel. So that's really really cool. So again, very nice use of lights. If I actually turn, I've got the lights off currently, and the lights nicely light it, and you can just see where you're going and what you're meant to be doing, which is cool. So we have got some really Oh wow, he's got a shower room. I I really need this mod in my life, but I don't know what mod it is. I'll have to have a look at this. But he's got shower modules here, so you can uh, stand in there and uh, 
wash your face and stuff. Needs to have some sort of water thing on there, but that that's that'd be quite cool. But this is really nice to have in here. It's a nice little share room with some drawers there. Um, again, you've got some conveyor blocks here, which uh, are a bit oddly placed, but this ship it, it does really well to make use of um, the blocks and make things integrate nicely. I mean, some things it looks a bit too crowded in this one. Other things where he's got a bit more space, he can patch things up a lot nicer. But with this, it just looks a bit too crowded for me. But I like, I still like the overall flow of the ship. So as we come through, we got conveyors running deep through the heart of the ship, and then this is like the main centre of awesomeness, really, where, where all the destruction comes from. You've got a bit of a Captain Kirk sort of area here where you can command the ship from, and from what I know that is all of the ship because it, it's quite a, a cramped and confined ship oh, actually no we have lockers here that's that's a nice touch oh we got bunk beds as well oh check that so these ones are actually proper so you can actually lie in these but uh, can we lie on the top one as well no oh. so he does actually have some bedrooms here for the crew again thinking about the crew a lot lockers again for getting changed and so, oh, this actually leads back into here alright oh, so again nice use of space and you can gain access to things really quickly which is good don't close those doors so we're gonna test out the gun on this bad boy now if I can figure out where I'm sitting on this third thing there we go so if we zoom out a little this is the ship. Now the cockpit and that is really nicely centred in the ship and I, I, I can't help feel that this ship could be a bit vulnerable being an artillery vessel. Again, I, could f I feel like it could be a little bit vulnerable to d destruction because, you know, y you can those those drills can be taken out really quickly if something's firing from underneath. And things seem a bit fragile where the engines are placed and there's not much protecting them. But that's just me. So... I believe we could potentially go inside the turrets and control them, maybe. Um, what what controls we got? So we've got turrets here for the X and Y axes, so by the looks of these turrets go up and down. So we need to figure out where those are controlled from. Extract, extend and retract drills. Let's see what this does first. So that brings the drills out so you can actually mine, which is really nice. What does that one do? That turns them on. I believe. Oh, there we go. They're on there. Um, batteries on and off, and reactors on and off. So it it does have a few controls. Now, has he assigned things? Aha! So he does what I do now, which is assign things to specific parts of the ship. So, like what I do in mine, I will put certain controls into certain sh like you know parts of the ship. So this seat has you know is a, is allowing some guy to pilot the turret so oh so as you can see here we have rotation and rotation back which really works nice um and we got rotation upwards look at that that is budging beautiful these turrets are really well made And then we have fire, which takes a while. Seven, eight. Oh, okay. So it appears you can shoot your own turrets with the top turret. So I've just destroyed that. Whoops. Um, maybe this one controls the other turret. Maybe. Yes, it does. So we can proper freaking broadside stuff. Oh, if I want to stop that, so you can have this turret right there. You know, if I bring it back a bit, and get can get used to the controls after a while, and be all like pew pew. However, these do take a freaking age to reload. So while they're reloading, you can actually be repositioning the ship. So you'd be like aim upwards and shizzle whistle and fire. So this is this seems more of a ship that would be again away from the fire. So you could have you know this ship in the back of your fleet. Providing covering fire for any ships that are going into battle, and just popping ships off as they as it sees them. Now I have of course totaled one of the turrets by shooting the actual uh, 
gun off of it, well two guns off of it, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys can see how they work because it's a really nice control actually. He's got a rotor, or one of the, it, these are all reloadable, so he's got a rotor and again these rotors allow for the pass through of materials, so pass through of ammunition. And this is all rotated on one thing and then you've got that which is rotated on another so because the rotor allows for everything to transfer through he can do the X and the Y axis which is absolutely brilliant so that has been the Jaculus artillery frigate if you guys have enjoyed this and want to see more of Dark Lord's builds then you know either post them in the description below or go and check them out yourself he is on Steam I'll put the link in the description and I'll see you guys later Peace.